Good morning, family. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is May the 5th, 2010. I mean, excuse me. Why I say 2010? It's 2016. 2010 is when I got my life back. Check that out. How about that for a factoid? Okay, and I, you know, on this day, it kind of make me feel a little nostalgic. Um, short story before we go into our video, um, a video a day in May. Um, I do celebrate a birthday on this day. Um, it was six years ago that I lost my life. I coded twice. Um, and uh, God said he was not ready for me. Um, um, my mom came down and my dad was there and I completely seen the light, the uh, warmth of my body, all of that. I was on a ventilator and uh, I was pronounced dead. Um, they stated that I would not uh, make it through the night. Um, my prognosis was grave. Um, everybody came down and congregated around my hospital bed and God said, send her back. We're not ready. So I am here after several blood transfusions, uh, aortic tear, and so many other things. I am here. So happy birthday to me. <laughs> Besides the fact that I am a Virgo, uh, September 10th. But 10 is just my number. 10 is my favorite number. It always has been. So then to turn around and get another birth date on 5, 5, 10, holla. So yeah, so that was the reason, I guess, in my um, subconscious, I was still thinking 5, 5, 10. And then I come in on this video of the day, which we are going to speak on, Cali News. And uh, so I guess that is a little news, but I also got a little update, a little breaking news. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Check this out. How about mama got her goddamn key? I got my goddamn key. Y'all look, check this out. I don't know what I was tripping on. I don't know what got me caught up. It could be that bomb ass head game. I, I, I'm seriously, I've been sitting up here like, you know what? What is this about this man? And I think it's the bomb ass head game. I just can't do nothing but be honest with you. Um, he's my best of friend, my best nigga in the world. Uh, that's what we call each other. You my best nigga. He is my best nigga in the world, like really. Um, but uh, to be perfectly honest with you, just as I told him, this ain't no secret here. I could never marry him, you know. And um, me, I'm you know, I'm a, I'm a loving person. Um, I work well in monogamous relationships, and I uh, stood fully present in my marriage. So I feel real comfortable in that type of space. Um, not uh, so much as an open relationship is what I'm in, but you know, hey, um, I've done I've done uh, shown enough patience to where at this point in time I make the rules. Now digest that, marinate on that for a minute. Yeah, um, I make the rules, okay? And if you don't like it, then therefore you have some options and some choices to make. But at this point in time on where it is today, no, I make the rules. I'm the one have to say so on what it is that I do, don't do, whatever. I do what I want to do, okay? And he has an option. He doesn't have to deal with me. He don't have to fuck with me at all. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But let me tell you something, and I'm going to keep it pushing off of mine, okay? Okay? Um, there's not one that I have ever been with that never wanted me back. Um, I don't wear out my welcome. I don't ask for no more than what I'm willing to give. In any union that I'm in, be it in a loving relationship or be it in a friendship or even in my marriage, I was never one that really wore out my welcome. I've always been a giver. You know, I've been one to give more than I receive. And, um, I, uh, I fear God and I've also had a huge conscience. Um, I've never been a liar, so, you know, I'm one of them, and then I'm steadfast, and I'm, um, I'm patient, I'm honest, and, uh, I'm one of those riders, and I don't know if it's just a Virgo in me that makes me that way, it could just be that, and if that's the fact, then I'm cool with it, but I also, um, I'm also drowning out with a little bit of Taurus in my ass as well, I'm a bull too, 
you know, and I wasn't as overt until 5, 5, 10. Um, after that, my taste buds changed. Um, my way of thinking on life changed. God blessed me with abundance. Um, he woke me back up and I've never had a, a, a profound financial worry. Um, he just blessed my life, you know, and I'm also roll that into my son. Thank you guys also for, um, um, all of the well wishes and the prayers and everything. My son had a little scare the other day and, um, he bounced back, you know, um, I went on Facebook and I called out to all my prayer warriors and I said, you know what, look, check this out. They have just 911 my son out and I am in historic hysterics and I just need I need y'all to pray for me. And you guys came out in droves. And I thank you guys for that. And I tell you what. From urgent care. To the ambulance report. To the. Um, when he got to ER. When I came on Facebook. And my last statement was. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I ask that you release my son. Now. Release him. Within that hour. It came back that he had absolutely nothing wrong with him. They did not keep him. They didn't give him any um, uh, uh, um, call in for any medications. Nothing. The doctor comes back. He says, Tina, you know, of course, he put my last name on it. He was like, I don't know. <laughs> but we looked at the urgent care notes. We looked at the paramedic report. And we tested him for everything, and it came back with nothing. We're going to send him home. I immediately called his boss, and um, I said, Anthony, you're not going to believe this. They said, absolutely, there's nothing wrong with Anthony, and he's coming home. So yesterday was Anthony's off day. No, excuse me. Uh, all this happened on Tuesday. So Wednesday, no, all this happened on Monday. So Tuesday was Anthony's off day, and Anthony went back to work on Wednesday. And yesterday, when I took my son to work, you know, prior to that, we had went to um, uh, Jamba Juice. And uh, that's, that's another place that we like to go. And uh, I get my uh, berry protein shake, um, smoothie, excuse me. And uh, the berry workout, yeah, that's the one that I get. I love it. And so, um, he got some kind of peanut butter, chocolate, something other. And, uh, so, um, you know, and he was so stoked to go back to work. And so I know you guys on Facebook was like, damn, he going back to work already? Well, hell, he 19. He's supposed to bounce back. You know what I'm saying? Hell, his mama's a child of God, you know? And, uh, regardless to whatever, whatever people might want to say or whatever, allow my, allow my life to be, uh, my life is a testimony. Okay. And just look at my works and my receipts. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody in this motherfucker bullshit now. Don't chalk me up just because I say colorful words and say some dumb shit that you might laugh at. Okay. Don't get it misunderstood. Okay. I am a child of God. He understands my heart and he brought me back. Okay, let's just be clear on that. Twice, okay, they pronounced my motherfucking ass dead. I had no blood in my body whatsoever. Do you know what an aortic tear is? You might want to look it up, okay? Because it ain't but what? How many of us now? I think it's three of us that have ever lived through that in this in, in this nation. Let's say that. And I think one of those guys is was from someplace else. But in this nation... Um, I think me and one or two others, and then I know that there, if he's not part of that two others, I think he's probably um, it, from another country um, that also survived that. So don't, don't, don't chalk me up because I come up on this motherfucker and I'll be clowning, okay? I know a little something about something. You might want to get on. You might want to pay attention, okay? As my mama used to say, you better pay attention. You might want to pay attention. Okay, so anyway, so yeah, um, but um, my son is a young man, and I'm raising him to be a man, 
okay? And men work or they don't eat, okay? And so, no, it wasn't going to be no, uh, Doc, can you take me off a week after work? Well, excuse me, he, he 19 years old. I said, son, you're fine? He said, mama, I'm fine. I said, thank you, father. He going back to work. Thank you. And he been back to work. My son never missed a day out of school since since Head Start, okay? He's never had a high school fight or any 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 grade school fight. You okay? He ain't never been late to work and ain't never called off. Okay? He was ready to go back to work. He was like, Mom, I'm ready to go back to work. I said, Okay. No problem. And I saw to it that, that ass got there. You understand me? And was there to come get that ass, okay? So see, don't fuck with me. I got my trunk tied over here. Okay, I'm working on all of this. Okay, I'm raising I'm raising kids into you know some prudent and some respectable adults. You know I don't want mine just out here and this motherfucker don't know shit from shot Nolan out here on some dumb shit. Okay, I don't want that. I don't want mine so when I leave from this motherfucker when I'm finally gone. My daughter out here hooking and crooking and trying to figure it out. Fuck all that bullshit. I'm leaving all this right here to them. Okay, and last I checked, um, by the time they get done with all this insurance and shit that I got on my motherfucking ass, my kids will be all right. Okay, I don't owe, I owe less than 80 uh, grand on this motherfucker right here. You better, you better check it out. You better see what the real estate is here in California. I'm over here taking care of business. Okay, now I understand this was Cali News and I'm telling a little bit of mine right now, but trust and believe I ain't no goddamn dummy. You better check it out. Okay. Shit, I didn't get this way through osmosis. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just trying to get everybody else to recognize their greatness. You know what I'm saying? Start walking in purpose on your shit. God done showed me some shit. Okay? He done already showed me some shit. And regardless of whether or not anybody like it or whatever, favor ain't fair. And I'm just one that's in the light right now. Don't mean that I'm always being that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He could say, okay, it's time for you to sit down. What can I do? All I can say is at the end of my days is, God, everything that you put forth in my lane, everything that you put forth in my journey, Father God, I did the best that I could, and I had fun with it. I used everything. I ate everything. I tasted everything. I did and seen everything. God, I touched everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the life that you've given me. This Everybody can't live this life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that my shit is posh to the bone, because it ain't none of that, okay? But it's comfortable, though. That 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 one, it is. That one, it is. It's very, very comfortable. And Lord have mercy. You know, I don't take this shit for granted at all, because every day I'm seeing people that's, you know, behind the eight ball and going through some things. I see it all the time, all, you know. And sometimes it makes me feel like, oh, my God, Lord Jesus. You know, sometimes it makes me feel a thing or two. You know what I'm saying? All I'm going to say is, as we're going to roll this on in, I'm going to say that y'all motherfuckers better get y'all's ass out there and vote. You already see that Trump is going to be Trump, and it's getting ready to be Hillary Clinton. Clinton going to win by default, because I think a lot of these motherfuckers just wanted to see if Trump can actually get it up there like that. But I don't think if they actually look at the number amount of voters, the, the motherfuckers that actually voted for him are the ones that actually wanted to see him get up in there, but the, probably the whole number of Republican uh, um, voters, the total number was probably very low. And I think that when it comes down to the election, of course, I'm voting for Hillary, Hillary Clinton. I'm a Democrat. Um, it, shit, I was born into a Democratic. So, you know, one thing about black folks, whatever you're born into, that's what you are. If you're born in the Church of God in Christ, God damn it, you Church of God in Christ and ain't going to wear no pants to church. You understand? So whatever it is you was born into, especially in black families, then that's just basically what you become until you get old enough to decipher and understand the truth on some things and find your own way. That's me. That's what made me have to look into my spirituality and grow into my higher self is because I was like, you know what? Yes, I was placed to be a, um, I was um, raised in Church of God in Christ Church. You know, um, my daddy was always a Democrat, Carter, you know, all that old type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know what, you know, I was raised to fry chicken a certain type of way. You cut it this way. I was raised that you, you know, you cook greens this way, you know, that I was raised into those things. And it wasn't until I got into adulthood and I wanted to find my own way. And sometimes you get comfortable and whatever you accustomed to is what you get used to and you don't want nothing else. 
But me, you know, I wanted to go to my higher self. And so going to your higher self sometimes, you know, you tend to venture out. And sometimes you be alone because people think you crazy as a motherfucker. How, why are you going against the grain? Because I want to see what else something else do. That's it. I want to see, you know, okay, everybody is saying that this is going to do this. But what if it don't do that? And what if you go this way and you're going to get to that other place quicker? But in hell, let me try it. Shit, what else I got to lose? I'm one of them. So anyway, on this breaking news, I just had to tell you that all is well in my chateau. My son is fine. Thank you very much. And I got my goddamn key. So anyway, I want to say congratulations to no other than Miss Janet Jackson. Mama, I love you. You are just so gorgeous to me. Growing up as a kid, you know, people would always say, you know, Tina, you look like Penny. You know, I was always, you look like between Tootie and Penny is what people always attest me with. You know, that I looked like you guys. You know, and it's like, wow, you know, but you're having a baby and I'm so excited about it. And, you know, um, I was supposed to see you on the 21st of this month at the Hollywood Bowl. So, I, you know what? It's okay. Got my refund. It's no problem. It's all good, baby. Go ahead on and have that baby and your husband. Oh, my God. Very, very handsome. I'm just rooting for you. You know, you are the youngest of your clan, just like I'm the youngest of mine. And it's, you know, it's, you know, I know how that do and I know how that could be. So, anyway, I just wanted to say congratulations to you and to your husband. Beautiful. Good luck. Can't wait to see what, how this all this, you know, go down. Beautiful situation. Um, also, family, do you guys know that, and it just, oh my God, I don't really want to talk about this, but this shit is crazy. It's a motherfucker to me. Um, Arsenio, you know, y'all, it's swirling around motherfucking LA, and it's been swirling around for some time that you've been a yes nigga. You know what I'm saying? You've been that on call nigga. I'm not, and now to, now that it's rolling around that, you have been the go-to guy for um, Eddie Murphy and for Prince to help them get their dope. You know what I'm saying? And them motherfuckers were smoking and, and, and doing lines with, you know what I'm saying, 100 proof motherfucking cocaine. I'm talking about the pure shit. Not this shit these motherfuckers is cutting with all kind of bullshit. I'm talking about the real motherfucking, you know, that old motherfucking dope. You know what I'm saying? Whereas you got to have some money to make you look like something because the rest of them motherfuckers that was rolling that old dope, them niggas are still pop locking on the corner of Vernon and goddamn what you call it. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers is the ones that you see on Martin Luther King Boulevard that's just at the light, just tripping out. Like, wait a minute, what's going on? That's that old motherfucking dope. Okay, that's that old PCP, Angel Dust, Ride the White Horse, all that shit. Them motherfuckers from the 80s. Them niggas from the 80s that was doing dope. Them motherfuckers, they ain't got, they, they don't have no sense about nothing nowadays. You can't ask them motherfuckers about nothing, can you? Them niggas is just in the way. They just in the way. They don't have no they don't have no input on nothing. They man, them motherfuckers is like just day to day. They just zombies just walking around this motherfucker. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's true. And even our even our family members that's been on that old motherfucking dope. It's like, nigga, if you don't just shut up, like, what are you talking about? I mean, just want to put in on conversations and shit don't even make no sense. It's like, wait a minute, what did you, did you think about that for you just Yeah, so anyway, but it's coming out that Arsenio has been, you know, one of the ones, the go-to guy that's been, you know, making sure everybody get, you know what I'm saying, laid out. And that's kind of fucked up, you know. And it's going to be bad if it come out that, you know, you had some things or, or you and your crew and all, you know, they in the business right now. Motherfuckers is all over this shit out here in L.A. I don't know what how y'all news be in y'all states and cities and shit, but the news out here, niggas, entertainment news. This is the entertainment mecca right here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the news down here is off the chain. And, nigga, you in the news uh, about helping these motherfuckers get fucked up. And, see, with Eddie Murphy, now, he just had a baby. What was that yesterday? Day for yesterday. Another little girl. This your ninth motherfucking child. I thought you was real handsome. You know, you you a handsome cat. You know what I'm saying? I remember going to a New Edition concert, but at the time, you was with the Spice Girl. And Spice Girl chick, uh, this is some inside shit anyway. 
But yeah, we was at a new edition concert and uh, mm hmm. Yeah, I, I, what 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 Wendy say? How you doing? Yeah, huh? Mm hmm. Long story on all that old type of shit. But yeah, she's about that life. But and up uh, and apparently you are too. Uh, so I'm gonna just say that in any way. But uh, it ain't none of my business. Allegedly, let me just go and throw that in there. Allegedly, y'all motherfuckers is cold blooded. But since you done, you ain't fucking with sisters no more. I'm kind of cool on Eddie Murphy in the first motherfucking place. Not saying, not discrediting his, you know, his acting ability and all that, because the motherfucker's sharp, you know. But you know, it's just the fact that your name has been swirling around some bullshit for a long motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? Hell, Nicole even looked like Prince Loki. When you look at Nicole, y'all just look at Nicole. Hollywood exes. Don't she kind of look like Prince? Same little curly little haircut and curly do and shit. Same motherfucking eyes and look and shit. She kind of looked like Prince to me a little bit, nigga. What was, I don't know, I don't know. It's a whole bunch of shit starting to swirl around this motherfucker. You know what I mean? A whole bunch of shit starting to swirl around this motherfucker. You know, when motherfucker, when Prince first died, motherfucker was like, oh, well, nah, you know, he lived, you know what I'm saying? He vegetarian and seven day Adventist. Uh, I mean, excuse me, Jehovah Witness, he all this right here, this right here, this right here. Yeah, that motherfucker was still getting fucked up there, wasn't he? That motherfucker was still getting fucked up. They trying to figure out what to do with his money and all that old type of shit. Cousins and brothers and sisters and motherfuckers that wasn't even fucking with him. It's out there talking about, I'm here to get my brother's money. If y'all don't sit the fuck down, it's a shame on how motherfuckers die and then here come people trying to get paid and shit. It is so fucked up, man. That's why I got up, man. I got to have all my shit in writing like a motherfucker. But I'm telling my kids what it is already, so they already know. Y'all pay this motherfucking balance off right here to, to ensure that y'all niggas won't be outdoors. Simply pay the taxes on this bitch and y'all be fine. Y'all got a place to stay the rest of your life. You know, make sure that's done first. Then after that, then if you want to get you a nice car that's going to run you from here on and now. Don't go buy nobody else's problem. You got enough money to go but go down there and go get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a nice vehicle. And then after that, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to school or whatever, or whatever, whatever, put you some money away. My kids are very smart. They know what it is. They know what they need to do. Shit, they better pay attention. Shit, out here in California, you just ain't out here buying no motherfucking house. You done already seen what they've been showing on the news. They've been doing this goddamn thing here now for the past couple of nights on Channel 11. And he's talking about the first night was, I think that was what, Monday night? On what $200,000 will buy you here in California. What kind of house you would qualify for for $200,000. Then, then the next night, it jumped to $400,000. What kind of house you would buy for $400,000 in, in, in the state of California. Then, then I think tonight... Is going up to like 600000 or something like that tonight or something. But every night it's been jumping up on what type of house and how much money you need to be making to qualify to purchase such a home. Man, it's been, it's been deep as hell but coming on every night. And I'm going to say this right now. Motherfuckers is all chuckling laughing about Trump and all that old type of shit. But that motherfucker get in office, y'all motherfuckers ain't even understanding that he got all kind of shit in store for niggas nowadays. You gonna have to drug test for your um for your SSI checks, your motherfucking unemployment, welfare, WIC, all that old type of shit. Let your motherfucking ass don't pass your goddamn test, and they doing file coin blood, some random shit. And then it's gonna cancel out your motherfucking checks and food stamps and shit, man. It's gonna man, it's gonna get crazy shit. I got intelligent homes, so I ain't gonna worry about it. You come up in this motherfucker and, I, and this shit get the ring and all, nigga, I'm gonna lay you down, okay? I'm gonna lay your motherfucking down, and we're gonna keep it pushing after that. 911, come get this motherfucker, because my shit rang off, and I ain't in here fucking with nobody. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna roll that into the same shit that done jumped off at Black China's house. Somebody broke up in her motherfucking safe and took over $250,000 worth of gold, uh, diamonds, money, and all that old type of shit. Yeah. Somebody went into her house, y'all, for real. Now, see, she goes back and forth from Rob's spot, because Rob got him a badass little, little Calabasas little spot, too, that his mama and sister and everybody put in and got him his own pad, too. Because remember, 
when Chloe put his motherfucking ass out, because while she was out there doing her thing, him and Black China, because he was staying with her for a minute, and him and Black China was doing their thing all up in Chloe's pad, while Chloe was out doing her thing and helping Lamar and all that shit, because she, she even got Lamar a little, a little spot on her block or whatever. Well, while she was out there doing Lamar, handling all of that, and all whatever that fuck else, and cocktails with Chloe and all that shit, Rob was staying with her. He didn't have no pad, okay? So since him and Black China got the fucking and kicking and all that old type of shit, then she over there kicking it at Chloe's. When, well, Chloe um, came home and she, she was like, wait a minute, what the fuck is all this right here? What's going on with all this motherfucking shit right here? Y'all motherfuckers is blowing in my pad. My shit is dirty and fucked up. Where's this old English 800 bottle come from? Y'all motherfuckers got all get the fuck out. Everybody, everybody out. Okay, so when she threw everybody out, then that was made Rob go to Black China's pad. So see, Black China already had a little pad, because you know what I'm saying, she the baby mama of old boy. So, you know, he already know he got shit to pay. Plus, she got her little, you know, she, you know, she do eyelashes and shit like that. She got a lash bar and shit like that that I hear that's pretty de damn decent. So, you know, she got her little shit going on, you know what I mean? So... And then, too, for her to go and do these appearances, they pay her $25,000, y'all, uh, appearance at the club. I am not mad. Nigga, 25, man, hey, give me one of them motherfucking dresses and shit. I qualify to wear one of them motherfuckers nowadays. Shit, if y'all don't give me one of these motherfucking dresses and help me walk in these shoes, throw me some hair on this shit, and I turn this motherfucker out, too. Shit, I come up there and MC this whole motherfucker and have everybody throwing up in their mouth. Hell yeah, I'm going to tear everybody's mouth out. I'm going to stand at the motherfucking mic and talk some shit for a minute. Uh, y'all got my money. Did y'all wait? Y'all make sure it was straight? Okay, now we up out of this motherfucker. Tampa Bay, we on the way. Yeah. Mmm. 25000 to just go in there for a couple of hours and shake your ass and hey, girl, and all that shit and act like you really enthused with some of these motherfuckers that she don't even... Yeah, because, see, them drunk motherfuckers that be all hanging over there, man, I don't even know. You know, because, like, Delicious and all that, I'm not mad at none of y'all motherfuckers. Ain't no hateration in my game at all, because y'all motherfuckers got kids and shit to raise at the house and got these badass pads and shit. Man, hell yeah, and you got these drunk motherfuckers hugging all on y'all. Man, if y'all don't give me my motherfucking money, because I'm a germaphobe low-key. You know what I'm saying? And I got drunk niggas dropping drinks and shit all on my motherfucking ass and shit. And these niggas is low-key trying to put a finger in my motherfucking ass. Because some of them niggas, they, they, they be taking pictures with you. Have you been looking at them niggas? Shit, I don't know. Shit, man, hey. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Bill Cosby would have had a field day if it was in his motherfucking day and time, huh? Shit, but, uh... <clears throat> So anyway, so yeah, they broke up in her motherfucking safe, y'all. Somebody broke up in her safe. That's fucked up. And took her shit up out of there. So now she's trying to figure out who the fuck did it. But the thing is, you know, I don't know. Mama, you shouldn't have far to go. Because first of all, who would know, Who should know the, the code to your safe but you? You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody know the code to my safe but me. Now, the only place that it should be is in your safe deposit box at your, excuse me, at your bank. Excuse me. The only person that should have the key to your code on your safe is you and your bank. You understand me? That's it. Now, unless you do have an attorney, then your attorney. But your assistants... Your managers, your motherfucking housekeepers, and all that shit. Hell no. Nah. Not even your goddamn kids. None of that should have the, the, the code to your motherfucking safe. It should be in your safe deposit box at your goddamn bank is where it needs to be. And when the, when the shit is all hit the fan and it all go down and they start reading off what all kind of... Your last will and testament, at that point in time is when the code is going to come out on what the safe is and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to have to crack this motherfucker like these motherfuckers was trying to do with that Apple phone with these motherfuckers and them blasting on everybody down here in San Bernardino back in December. Okay? It's going to have to be one of them because fuck that. You're going to have to crack the code like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And it's mixed up, so you're going to have to crack that motherfucker code. Yeah. Or you're going to have to go down in that safe deposit box and see what's happening. 
But that's how it's supposed to be. Well, anyway, also, now let's talk about the weather out here. Y'all, what is the weather doing in California? The weather is doing two or three different things. I hope we ain't having an earthquake. That's always what we used to say, ain't it? Last night, it was so still outside because sometimes I come outside. And especially when it's a full moon, that's when I set my crystals out and all, the, all that stuff for cleansing and for, to charge them. We're going to talk about that another day. Um, but yeah, when I, I put my yoni eggs out there, I put my crystals and stuff out there. And I charge them, you know, for full moons and things of that nature. But I came out outside last night and it was just so still. I was like, whoa, is it going to be an earthquake? Because see, out here in Southern California, when it's still or it goes from rainy to windy and then you know all these different things that's going on then we'll come back and say oh this is earthquake but this is earthquake weather it's we're gonna have an earthquake so i was saying that last night as i was sitting out there and i have a um a canopy bed out outside on my patio outside i'm gonna tape out there sometimes too as i'm just laid out and shit and i was laid out and shit and i was just you know covered up and just you know just taking it all in and i was like wow it's awfully still tonight um, but yeah, so I don't know what it's doing. A little bit ago, it was like it was, uh, uh, sprinkling a little bit. So I don't know. I don't know what the weather is talking about. I don't know what's going on, but they saying that it's, we're going to have a little rainy weekend and which that's cool because, you know, I like, I like all that old type of shit. I like being in the house and all my kids is home and it's raining and we making cookies and watching movies and shit. I like that kind of shit. Now, we ain't all watching movies in, all in the room together no more because they like to, everybody like to be in their own room. Now, we might be watching the same movie, but everybody in their own motherfucking room. Let's just be clear on that part. Okay. Now, anyway, I'm going to close it all out on Cali News by saying that the Uptown Jazz Festival is going to be June 11th in Long Beach. So, to my girl Candy that lives in Long Beach, shout out to Candy. Candy, I am going to be at the uh, Long Beach Jazz Festival. It's going to be free from 12 to 8. Anybody want to come down, come check it out. Um, DW3 and Gobo is going to headline. And I just love me some DW3. You guys don't know who DW3 is. You might want to look them up. They're cool guys. Real cool cats. Hispanic cats, but they can sing their motherfucking ass off. And my boy in the group, his name is Damon. And he is just so handsome and it's just so cool. And, um... So, I'm going to go check Damon and them out on June 11th. But before I get there, as I was saying earlier, how um, I was going to see Janet Jackson on the 21st. But on the 20th, I am going to see the Hamiltons, Anthony Hamilton and Fantasia at the old school motherfucking Nokia. I think it's the Microsoft now, but nigga, that's still the Nokia. And uh, uh, fourth floor, I'll be in the pit. And check your girl out. I'm wearing white. That's all I can tell you right now. I don't know if I'm doing jumpsuit, bodysuit, motherfucking pantsuit. I don't know. But I'm going to do something that's going to be so cold-blooded. But I'm going in all white. Got to do white, though. Got to do white. Huh? White. White. So, anyway, on that note, family, I am gone. And I am out of here. A video a day in May. We are on our fifth day. My birthday. 5 5 10. I'm gone. Bye.